Hello, hello, and welcome to today's trending contract, Weeping Angel, set in New York, and supplied to us today by Shaco1610. So with no briefing, we'll move straight on to our targets, and today we have five of them, and a free map. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting at the default location and we'll be bringing with us a lethal syringe, a lockpick and a silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, uh, we require a propane cylinder and there just so happens to be one beyond this locked door here. So we're going to lockpick our way through the door, close the door behind us, grab the propane cylinder and then head out to the teller hall and we need to avoid a number of cameras. So there's one just to our left here and then there's one coming up somewhere to our right as well. So we're going to place our propane cylinder just on the edge of that square mosaic on the floor. Then we're going to trigger the conversation between Ruby Red and her fan. We're going to wait right here behind the screen with the screwdriver we've just collected for their conversation to play out. The gentleman will leave and at that point we can then lure Ruby into this secluded area with the screwdriver. We're going to select our lethal syringe and uh, we're not going to use the screwdriver on her as when our next elimination occurs she will be found. So we need her to look like a natural death and down she goes. So we're now going to head up onto the stairway here and around to our right over the banister and we can then scoot along to the corridor where the janitor is located. And then from here, we should have a nice clear shot of the propane cylinder we placed earlier. And there it is. And there is the gentleman who was talking to Ruby. So we're just gonna put two bullets in the propane cylinder and vault him over the advertisement Quite a nice little uh, dive he done there. So two targets down. Uh, yeah, three more to go. Uh, our next target is Mr. Jackson. Now normally we would poison him and be done with it. But we do that pretty much every time. So we're going to do something a little different today. So first things first, when no one's looking, we're going to make our way into the janitor's closet. And we're going to throw our wrench that we've collected into the room and that will attract the attention of the guard. We're just going to hide behind the door until he arrives and when he does we can then render him unconscious. We're going to collect up everything that he drops because the janitor does eventually come into this room. So we're going to hide the body in the closet, we'll take his outfit for good measure, we're going to grab his gun Where's his gun? Uh, all right, we'll leave the gun then. Never mind. I feel like giving. So, Mr. Jackson, not poisoned today. So we can't leave him lying around with that hole in his face. So we're going to deposit him in the closet with his bodyguard. That way, his bodyguard has not usurped his duties or shot them in any way. So two targets remaining. And they are the bank robbers down in the teller hall bathroom. Uh, we require a method of elimination. So we're going to run straight down to the vault area and into a storage room where we will find a second propane cylinder. Now normally we would have to avoid a camera that's pointed at this door. But due to where we placed our last propane cylinder that has destroyed that camera. So we don't need to worry about that one. So we're gonna grab the propane cylinder from the room, 
we do have to avoid the camera at the top of the stairs here and then we can make our way around to our left and avoid another camera just to our right and into the bathroom uh, we're gonna trigger a conversation between the guard and the young lady by the sinks and while that is playing out we're gonna lockpick our way into the robber's cubicle throw our propane cylinder into the center of the room select our silence pistol and then we're gonna wait for these two to finish their conversation and leave uh, the gentleman obviously leaves first the young lady does hang around to prune herself a little before she finally goes and actually does some work so once the room is ours we're just going to give that door time to close we're going to unlock the cubicle door once again and then move a very safe distance and detonate the propane cylinder so all of our targets are now dealt with all we have to do is to make good our escape and run the gauntlet of enforcers heading for the bathroom so there we go one more trending contract taken care of and um, in a moment we will get confirmation that all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.